Created in the 1970s and 80s as an hybrid between PAL and MTSC, PAL N combined features from both. It adopted the frame rate and number of lines from MTC, 29.97 frames per second and 525 lines, but kept the color encoding system from PAL. The result? It worked like MTC in many ways, but was completely incompatible with European PAL systems. So if you tried European PAL equipment like VHS tapes or cameras, they wouldn't work on Brazilian TV at all. On the flip side, NTC devices like VCRs and cameras would work, but only in black and white. Unless the color system was transcoded, which wasn't always easy. In the end, this led to dual format devices being required, which made everything more expensive for Brazilian consumers. While PAL-M was a clever workaround, it became a costly, confusing system that was far from perfect, making it a true Frankenstein in the world of video standards.